Okay, so in this problem, we're given two expressions and we're asked to find the greatest common factor, the biggest thing we could factor out of these two terms. So looking at the numbers, the greatest common factor is what is the greatest, the biggest number that divides into 6 and 15 evenly? Well, the biggest number is 3. 3 divides into 6 and 3 divides into 15. So that's the greatest common factor for the numbers. For the exponents, it's really pretty simple. You look at the each variable, starting with the x's, and you just select the one with the smaller exponent. Yeah. x to the 3 and x to the 6. x to the 3 is smaller. y to the 7 and y to the 4 y to the 4 is smaller, z to the 5 and z to the 3, well z to the 3 is smaller, so that is the greatest common factor. Now what we're going to do in the next video is we're going to have, let's say we had 6x cubed, y to the 7, z to the 5th, plus 15x to the 6, y to the 4, z cubed, Let's say we want to factor this. Well, to factor this, we got to factor out the greatest common factor. The greatest common factor is 3x, let me just write this over here. It's this right here, 3x cubed, y to the 4, z to the 3. That's what we just determined. That is the greatest common factor of those. So when I factor that out, what's left? on the inside. How do we figure it out? Well, when I multiply this, when I distribute this, it's got to take me back to there. So 3 times 2 gives me 6. x to the 3 times 1 gives me x to the 3. I don't need to put the 1 there because 2 times 1 is just 2. So I don't need to put any x. x to the 4 times what gives me x to the 7? Uh, sorry y to the 4 times what gives me y to the 7? y to the 4 times y to the 3 is y to the 7. z to the 3 times what gives me z to the 5? z to the 3 times z to the 2 gives me z to the 5. So that's the first term, plus when I distribute this onto this, it's got to give me this. 3 times 5 gives me 15. x to the 3 times x to the 3 gives me x to the 6. Keep in mind we're adding the exponents. y to the 4 times what gives me y to the 1? Well, y to the 4 times 1 is y to the 4. But we don't need to put the 1 there because 5x to the 6 times 1 is just 5x to the 6. Then we look at the z. z to the 3 times what gives me z to the 3? Well, again, we have another 1 there, and um, we don't need to put a, z to, a, a 1 there because z to the 3 times 1 is z to the 3, but 1 times 5x to the 6 is just 5x to the 6. So this is our answer. This this is the factored form of this. And again, if I distribute this, it's just going to take me right back to there. But we started with first being able to identify the greatest common factor. What is it that I can factor out? Then we go backwards to figure out what, what did we end up with.